It is Tuesday, March 8th in the NBA, and I'm back with my four best picks of the day, including one same-game parlay. Yo, what's going on, everyone? This is Austin from Call on Our Shot. Quick recap from yesterday, a two and three day overall. It's kind of been the story of our March so far. Our best bet of the day, Tyrese Maxey over 17 and a half points. Well, he did nothing the first three quarters, turned it on as of late, ended on the hook with 17 points on the dot. DeMar DeRozan and Trey Young looked great after the first quarter, then did nothing the rest of the game. Rudy Gobert, the complete opposite, looked absolutely terrible in the first half, clutches up at the end, getting us those 13 rebounds that we needed. We also did a LeBron and DeJounte Murray, same game parlay, which had good odds to go into the night, then LeBron got ruled out, so it ended up just being DeJounte Murray, which cashed his two legs. Either way, not a great day, but could have been much worse. It's, we've been in a little bit of a rough patch. Overall, on the month, nine and 14 overall, minus 6.47 units. Really hasn't been great, but I love today's slate. As you can see in February, we had a great record, 56 and 28 plus 14.38 units. So we're always going to be transparent with you. There's going to be highs, there's going to be lows, and hopefully we can turn around this ship today. Now look, we got over three months or three weeks left in March and probably over three months left on the NBA season. So we're going to get back after it. If you are new to the Call on Our Shot channel, do me a favor, go down below, click that subscribe button. We are less than 250 subscribers away from 28,000. And we're trying to hit 30,000 by the end of March. So we certainly would appreciate it if you go down below and click that button. Also, shout out to all our new COS All-Stars. We appreciate all you guys. You guys are the real lifeblood of the channel. We can't do it without you guys. You keep everything 100% free. So if you want to support us, click the first link in the, in the pinned comment or the join button on the channel. It can be a little bit weird, the link. But still, we would really appreciate it. It only costs $2.99 a month. And as a side reminder, you get the plays an hour early. And you can probably get them way before other people. And you'll be able to see it. Now, if we do add any pin, add any any plays throughout the day, which I don't think we will, maybe one play today, they'll be in the pinned comment. So definitely go check that out later on throughout the day. Again, shout out to all our newest COS All-Stars, Steven, King Trawler, Eric, Thomas is back. We appreciate you, Thomas, one of our first ever All-Stars, Hornfrog86, Abner, James, Austin, Dad, JC, Toxic Jolt, and Calvin, Calvin Ridley. Okay, I'm just kidding, but it is, we do appreciate all the All-Stars. We can't do it without your guys' support. It is Tuesday, which as a reminder, we have some Taco Tuesday player props for prize picks. Now, prize picks does partner in the call on our shop channel. It's only available in certain select states, but a lot of states out there that you guys are watching the videos from, Essentially, it's just a great app to do your player prop parlays. And if you use code COS or the link in the description, basically you down and you get $100 if you deposit 100. So basically you get a 100% deposit match up to 100 bucks. So basically it's Tuesday. They do a lot of player props, kind of taco Tuesday things where they give you better odds. So let's say you like Kevin Durant over 29 and a half points. Sometimes they'll reduce it to 24 and a half that you can parlay with other things. Essentially, you basically use the link or code COS in the description and you sign up, deposit $100, you get another free $100 to play with. So I definitely appreciate prize picks for, for sponsoring the channel and we can't do it without them so without further ado and i'll post the prize picks parlay on twitter at calling our shot make sure you're following us there but without further ado let's hop into the best bet of the day long intro this guy doesn't need one kevin durant over 41 and a half pras minus 115 on caesars now feels good to be back on betting to mr durant i know i made him the thumbnail a couple days ago when he when he returned, but since his return, 39 PRAs versus Miami, 51 versus the Celtics. Now, he almost hit this over in just points alone against Boston, but those are two elite defenses in the Celtics and the Miami Heat. And he still played a ton of minutes, 35 and 39 minutes, so not worried about that. Now, if elite defense is what you seek, you probably don't want to watch this matchup as it's the Brooklyn Nets versus the Charlotte Hornets. Both teams play fast, play no defense. And look, the over-under says that. 241 points is the over-under right now. And look, I love this matchup for Durant. He played the Hornets earlier this season. Only He played 36 minutes, chipped in 38 points, five rebounds, and three assists for 46 PRAs. Now, we've seen it all season long. Big men against the Hornets, Boom, recipe for success. Jakob Pertl, he was he's, he's trash. But either way, in six games, I mean, we saw a guy like Keldon Johnson shoot a lot versus the Hornets. He had 43 PRAs. I think that Kevin Durant's a little bit better than Keldon Johnson. No disrespect to Keldon if you're watching. Now, in six games without Harden this season, Durant, 67, 58, 53, 43, 39, and 51 PRAs. Cashing in five of six. Kyrie Irving is obviously active today, but this is Durant's team. We know he should lead the team shooting a ton. And look, the Hornets don't have a lot of guys that can match up too well. A lot of people, let's be honest, you can't really match up with Durant too well in the league. Miles Bridges, PJ Washington will likely be the guys that will guard him, but look, you can't do it too well. He'll be going after it. And we know the Hornets love chucking up threes, so maybe we see Durant fill up the statue with some more rebounds. We know he's been kind of getting a couple assists too. I think Durant, I mean, he's one of the best scorers on the planet. He can hit this over in just points alone. Also, no LaMarcus Aldridge today, so maybe Durant plays a couple more minutes. Look, Andre Drummond, the Steve Nash, and the Nets coaching crew doesn't love to play Drummond a ton of minutes. That might, might see more Blake Griffin today, which is probably good for us in terms of rebounds for Mr. Durant. And look, the Nets 
Nets are reeling. What well, lost 17 of their last 20 games. They're the ninth seed, tied with the exact same record as the Hornets. These are must-win games for the Nets. They got to turn their season around. So the Nets don't play until Thursday. Not worried about any rest concerns. Durant will be ready to go, and I think he's going to hit this over 41 and a half PRA. Is playable to 42 and a half. I love him today, and I think he'll get it done for us. Now moving on to the next play. This guy we love here on the channel, Darius Garland. We're taking us over 23 and a half points, minus 106 on FanDuel. Now come back to a guy that hurt us on Sunday, but this, if you watch the game on Sunday against the Raptors. 100% not his fault. The Raptors were double teaming Garland nonstop the whole game, and he had no choice but to pass it to his teammates and have them go basically three on two against the opposed the Raptors left, or four on three against the Raptors that were left because the other two were, or even three people sometimes triple teaming Mr. Garland. In that game, we saw him shoot just 12 times, scored seven, 17 points, surprisingly, and had 10 assists. Now, prior to that game, Garland hit this over in six straight games and 26 plus points in five of those games. I believe it gets back to that form. Now, normally you're seeing us take PRAs or points plus assists for Garland, but I don't want to do that today. Jared Allen is out for the Cavaliers. That's a guy that Garland relies on for a lot of assists. And look, Garland and the Cavs, well, and Karis LeVert is also out today. Now, Garland and the Cavs, great matchup today against the Pacers, who since the trade deadline, been one of the fastest playing teams led by Halliburton, Brogdon, Buddy Heald, and you name it. Now, with the fast pace comes bad defense. They have the fourth worst defensive rating over that time span. I believe they're the fifth worst overall in the season. Over under is 222 and a half points, which is very high for a Cavaliers game, who's normally hovering in like the 208s to 210s. The Cavs team total 113 and a half points. Don't really see them getting that unless Garland is cooking. Now, look, we know Garland is the alpha dog for this team without Karis LeVert, potentially without Rondo, but I wouldn't even mind if Rondo played today because it will take some playmaking off of Garland. Now, Garland has attempted prior to that game where he attempted just 12 shots because he was getting double teamed, 20 plus field goal attempts in four straight games. Look, 25 guards have attempted 20 plus field goal attempts against the Pacers. 22 of them have hit this over 23 and a half points. Garland should be able to get it done against a bad Pacers defense. We should be able to keep this game close. And Garland, we trust. I love him today. We're taking this over 23 and a half points. Now, to break up the video, here's my spread pick lean of the day. You guys know I don't love betting spreads. Should have bet yesterday's, which was Timberwolves minus 15 and a half. They won by what, like 30 something points. But today I lean the Pelicans plus the five and a half versus the Grizzlies. Coming off a tough overtime loss. Have then they've been very good as of late. We'll have another player prop. We'll have the same game parlay for this game in a second. But look, I like them. I think they're playing pretty well. And the Grizzlies, they're a great team. John Morant and whatnot. But I don't really trust them all that much. I think I think Pelicans might keep this game close. They've been playing super well as of late. But let's move back to that Celtics Hornets game. Go for another player prop. Terry Rozier, over 30 and a half PRAs, minus 115 on points bet. Now, if you need an individual stat for Terry, bet is over on points. And I'd say the same thing for Durant. Take his over on points because this is what we're going to need to hit these lines. But I know Barstool and Fandle sitting at 31 and a half, totally fine with that. Now, I talked about Durant earlier. This is the highest scoring game on the slate, and there's not going to be a lot of defense being played. We know Terry splits the backcourt with LaMelo Ball. LaMelo, he's prone to foul trouble. So if LaMelo can get into foul trouble for us, we'd really appreciate it. But look, LaMelo picks up some stupid fouls, some of the dumbest fouls I've ever seen players pick up, just in the backcourt for no reason. Rozier has been very good as of late, knocking down his three-pointers. Over his last five games, he's at 42, 39, 29, 40, and 37 PRAs, crushing this line in four or five games. His lone miss against the Bucks, a better defensive team than what we'll see today in Brooklyn. And Terry's last game against Brooklyn, which was last April, hasn't played in this year, 27 points, six rebounds, 10 assists for 43 PRAs. Should see his usual 36 plus minutes. And like I said earlier with Durant, this is an absolute must win game. These games are coming down to the wire. I mean, the season's only got what, 15 to 17 games left for these teams. And I think they're gonna need to play, play their stars and win these games. Terry has led the Hornets in drives per game over the last five games. And it's the Nets, if you drive against them, you're gonna have success. The Hornets run a very tight eight-man rotation, sometimes sprinkling in JT Thor. But either way, the guys coming off the bench, Cody Martin, Kelly Oubre, and Montrez Harrell, they'll need Rozier on the court to play make sometimes. So look, I think Terry gets it done in front of the home crowd. We ride with him. He's cashed for us in the past, but he can over 30 and a half PRAs. Now, moving on to my final play of the video, and maybe we'll talk about a couple leans that I have and maybe we add another play depending on the night. It's a same game parlay and we've done pretty good on these and if it's in the Pelicans Grizzlies game and I'm building this on FanDuel and if you're in a legal state with FanDuel definitely use the link down below dimers.com slash COS for a thousand dollar risk-free bet. Now we are rolling with CJ McCollum 15 plus points and four assists. Brandon Ingram 15 plus points and four assists. The odds minus 124. Now I know before you go down below you're like four legs for only minus 124 odds. Look, I love this play a ton, and I think it's a really good one, and I love both these two players a ton tonight. So I think both of them get it done on their PRA lines, but this is an easier, safer way to bet. And I didn't really want to put two units on each of these guys, so I'll just put a one unit on this play. Now, look, 
these two guys should have great games, and they're it's a Pelicans team that we have loved. And since the deadline, both guys have been very good. Now, look, since they put Jackson Hayes at the four, at the power forward position, and like we've talked about, at least all the playmaking really just scrunch up. It goes down to Brandon Ingram and CJ McCollum. Both those two guys are going to have to create shots, not only for themselves, but for their teammates with Jackson Hayes starting. Now, since February 15th, when the, these, when these two teams did play, all four legs cash pretty easily, all four legs getting it done. Now, McCollum, 15 points. Let's talk about him. 15 points and four assists. And, and 10 games as a Pelican, 10 for 10. He's cashes in every single game, sometimes easily surpassing these lines. He had like 30 points and seven assists versus, versus the, Pel or the Grizzlies last time they played. Now, it's against the Grizzlies, which has been a pretty decent defense all season long, but not really scared about them too much defensively. Brandon Ingram on his side of the equation cashed this in five straight games. So it has cashed in five straight alone. And he's had four plus assists in eight straight games. He just had a game in there where he didn't hit 15 plus points because he shot six for 21. I'm not concerned about that. He's had a great track record against this Grizzlies team. I honestly like his points line alone. Ingram is in a groove scoring 33, 29, and 38 points his last three games. So not worried about him scoring that. McCollum's been shooting a ton. He should be able to get some easy buckets against this Grizzlies backcourt. Look, both these guys just asking for 15 plus points the average well over 20 points per game the over under 231 and a half points i think they can easily get it done this is a must win game for the pelicans you know like i said fighting for the playoff positioning and the grizzlies should be playing pretty hard too they are on the road they're going to need both mccollum and ingram to step up over the last five games in which you've seen jackson hayes starting in those games like i said this bet is exactly five and oh ingram and mccollum averaged 12 assist chances per game in each of those games Look, this is one of those science experiments we kind of talked about in our on Twitter where we kind of been experimenting with them. I love the same game parlay. I know it's four legs, but minus 124 odds, not too juiced. McCollum, 15 plus points and four assists, four plus assists. And then obviously Brandon Ingram, 15 plus points and four plus assists. Hopefully this one goes out well. And if we do hit this one, we'll probably keep doing one every day that has kind of had reduced legs. I think has a good chance. Now, also, if you want a couple leans, I was looking at Cameron Payne's over in a points plus assist, but I have no idea what the line is. McCall Bridge is probably going to go under again today. That's just a, a guess. DeAndre Ayton, I've never seen him have two good back-to-back -back games, but this is a great matchup against his friend Mo Bahamba. But either way, shout out again to our, well, maybe we'll add another play throughout the day. Definitely check the pinned comment down below. Either way, shout out to our sponsor, Prize Picks. Like I said, if you want to sign up, basically get a free $100. When you deposit $100, then click the link in the description or we'll use code promo code COS. I'd really appreciate it. Help support us over here at Call on Our Shot, but I'll see you guys again later today. Well, hopefully we have a great day, and if you have any questions for the podcast, drop them down below. Let's go have a great day. Let's go for a 4-0 sweep. We are due a couple winners. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.